Jeez. Hey guys, so I have another video, another topic for you guys that I want to talk about with you guys. Um, I asked this question in the forums and to hear what people's responses was and what they think before I discuss this topic. So um, we've talked about it in the community before, but this is what we do. There's always new people. There's always people that haven't seen every single video. So here we go again. Before I get started, guys, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and go ahead and give me a like because you're going to like this video. You don't have a choice. <laughs> don't forget to share, 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 share my channel with your friends and family and also... Follow me on Instagram, Mr. Randy Smith. Make sure you click the follow button. <laughs> All right. Um, I definitely appreciate everyone that leaves comments. I I do take the time and read each and every one of your comments. Sometimes I just heart, most of the time I just heart them because I am all over the place and I'm painting and I'm, you know, and so a lot of times, sometimes I just come back and I address the uh topics and issues in other videos um or in the videos or, or you know your questions and stuff like that or your comments I'll I'll try to respond to them in videos um sometimes I don't always remember exactly who left the comment but yeah anyway so I asked the people <laughs> what did they consider high end um high end a high end reborn or silicone what did they consider and a lot of responses were pretty good and, uh, and kind of alongside of what i believe it to be or what i consider to be high end um but then there was those responses that also i see a lot and that some people that is what they consider there is no right or wrong answer to it because it's definitely based off of how you feel and your preference and your opinion let me say that first there's no right answer to how you feel when someone asks you how you feel and what you think your thoughts are your thoughts and nobody can take that away from you so some people feel that um a high-end baby is one that comes from a award-winning prototype artist or a prototype artist then there are some that are um they believe that now this wasn't necessarily said in that particular form but i've heard people say this before they feel like the very expensive dolls are high-end um and then there was the ones that I agree with. They were saying that um, there was two two different ones that kind of they they kind of are different, but I agree wholeheartedly with both comments. One was that you know a high end you know baby for them is one that looks so real that you have to take a second look at it. Also one that is um one is that um they have like lots of details um the different colors within the skin tone and i'm glad that they explained it like that because they're okay so i got a baby from a very high-end prototype artist in my pr private collection when i bought in my private collection and this baby did not have not one vein no capillaries um no 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 other things like no blemishes um very subtle modeling but it was the way that she worked that damn color okay it was the way the way that she put down that color like the different blends of all those it's like it almost looked like she's working with a limited amount of colors, but the way she applied it was so freaking dope. Like, oh my gosh, like, okay, let me let me not say that. It was so beautiful and flawless and seamless till the baby just looked real. Like, it just literally looked real. And I was just blown away 
of the fact that it didn't have all the extras. So to me, that's still a very high end and worth every single penny that she charged. But then there's other babies that I love that have the hyper realism in it that have pimples and milk bumps and veining and mottling and this because there's different styles right some babies first of all you're not gonna have a baby that's about three four months that's gonna have all this hyper skin pigmentation going on and stuff as you know or say six months baby look like it's about six months you're not gonna have the same look as a freshly newborn looking kid so some of that stuff that you would see in a very newborny kit, you wouldn't see in another kit. So I can't say, oh, that baby didn't have veins, so it's not high end. Or, oh, that baby didn't have this, so it's not high end. Um, so that that is, you know, for me, it's the whole overall look uh, of the baby. Um, I have a baby in my, another baby in my collection that doesn't have any mottling, any veining, and she only has just straight shading and skin tone. But the skin tone is one that's very hard to reach. The shading is heck perfect, you know what I mean? And so, um, to me, that baby sits right at the top with my other top babies, you know what I mean? So... You know, some people like put this standard out there, this one blanket standard, but this is art. And so art is just different. And um, one of the collectors said, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And absolutely, especially with this type of art, you, I mean, there's a, there's a connection. Um, there's things where I've said, that's not realistic. I've never seen a baby that skin tone before. And then somebody say, he go a picture this is the way my baby looked when she was born or he was born and it looks just like that baby that I said I ain't never seen a baby that color sure enough there's that orange baby and you know what I mean like so you know we are drawn to what we are drawn to um what may not be realistic to you may be realistic to someone else there's another thing oh that baby got way too much hair First of all, most black babies, African-American babies, are born with a lot of hair. We got the hurry babies all down the forehead, all down the down the, the, the cheeks, the face, the hands, the arms. My baby on her back. And let me tell you, she was so freaking light. But her hair made her look darker because I thought I thought it was her skin tone, but it was hair. I could lift up the hair off the back of her back like this. Like I could take about two inches of hair off her back where it would just land down her back. She was hairy like a, and I can say this, don't y'all say that, okay? But she was hairy like a freaking monkey, straight up. Like, I mean, and my mom said I was the same way. My mom called me, you know, a little monkey, okay? Okay, I know. But yeah, she did because I was so freaking hairy. And so, those are like little things that, you know, will be drawn to and people will be like, oh, that's not realistic. And even prime example, me and my ideas of what is realistic. When I painted um, Aspen, his lips was a different color. And I said, that's not realistic enough. So I went in and I changed his lip color. I was watching this video on YouTube. Ooh, this guy, he was cruel. And he was laying there with his baby and his lips was the same color as what Aspen was originally. And he was actually an older man. And I was like, oh my God. And he had his baby and his baby had similar color lips. And I was like, that was realistic. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if it's not familiar to you, you sometimes you just don't know. Um, when my grandbaby was born, you know, I have this thing. I do not like froggy position babies. I don't like babies that legs, like silicone babies that legs just stay flared out and like in a bow I don't like the froggy 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 just displayed set position it's okay if they can go in that position but I don't like if they just stay like that but then I was looking at my grandbaby and I'm like oh my gosh she's kind of she's like that there's other things with my grandbaby that I saw that I was like 
oh and I said this person bodies are not as realistic and now it's like now I'm kind of drawn to those bodies a little bit sometimes because I'm like oh my god that's like how my grandbaby look you know um because I forgot you know I mean I haven't you know seen a baby in many years you know what I mean um so those are you know you know we typically you know the community sets these standards and that's what we kind of go for some people feel like um if you're a prototype artist your work got to be great and that's not always the case either or if you're not a prototype artist your work is not great and that's not always the case either because i've seen some artists that are not big named not on everybody's radar that work is so amazing that i just don't understand why they're not on their everybody's radar i mean um and then there are those that are, you know, that are on everybody's radar and I don't see why they are on everybody's radar. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we set these standards in our head and, you know, it's our own personal choice. And who, who's to argue with that? It's your money. So that was one of the, um, the things that I wanted to know. The other thing is I was asking, um, you know, what is the average you know, um, time that people are told to wait on customs and like, or private orders. Like when you approach an artist, what is the average amount of weeks or, you know, time frame that they give you on average? Because a lot of people do a lot of customs and I'm just trying to get a feel of what's the norm. Um, and you know, a lot of people were saying four to six weeks and six to eight weeks was kind of like what I got from the few of the people that did respond. Now I've had friends and um, other people tell me that they've waited six months to a year for uh, babies and stuff like that, but I was just curious. Um, so, you know, let me know what your average wait time is that you've been waiting for customs typically. Um, I'm surely, I'm sure if you got less work less orders you can do it in a faster time frame i don't know but i'm just curious um because i'm curious because i'm actually probably gonna have to find someone to paint a baby for me um i'm not sure because i i ordered that pre-ordered that toddler melly by ping lao but i can't paint german vinyl i know people be like just put matting on it no because i don't want no muddy hot mess baby i don't want my baby looking a hot mess i want a nicely done baby if i want that kit i want it to be pretty i really prefer if i could paint it myself but i'm gonna have to look at the vinyl and see if it's like the katie marie vinyl because i was able to paint katie marie or if it's like um the who is that baby I got? I got another baby by Gudrun Leffler that's German vinyl. And I just, it's just sitting. I, and it's kind of depressing for me because those kids cost like a hundred and something dollars. And I just, I've already taken the eyes out of them and used the eyes and just been like, you know what? Don't worry about it. You know, just forget it. We're, I'm not going to try to try with them. But I, I haven't got rid of them yet. I'm just looking at them. But it just looked dirty. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make myself <laughs> you know, further mess up the kit. I don't know. So if I if depending on how this kit look and feel when I see it in person, whenever they come in, it's gonna determine if I'm gonna have to try to, you know, see if someone will paint it for me. Which is gonna be kinda hard because a lot of artists don't like to paint for other artists. Yeah, they don't, they don't like, you know, that's the other thing is that, you know, I've not called myself an artist for a long time and other artists have told me that I am an artist, but you know, I'm still not 100% convinced, but I'll go with it for, you know, for the street purposes. But I realized once I started painting more, I've approached a few people for customs or just private orders. I just want their work because they can hit certain skin tones and I just want wanted the doll. 
and they just won't paint for me. They'll just tell me like they don't do customs or they're not available, whatever, whatever. And then I know they're painting for other people. So it kind of sucks, but I get it because there are people that will just get your work just to try to copy your style. But trust you me, I don't want to look like nobody else but me. If you ain't know me in all the years that I've been in this community, I've never been a follower. I don't want to be like anyone else. I want my own signature style. I look at some people and I lose so much respect for them. And when I see them mimicking other people work, I'm just being straight up like it's cool, you know, and I might even like it. But I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's like for me, it's like, why am I going to go to you when you're mimicking someone else work when I could just go to the original? I'm just going to go straight to the person that you copying because apparently they got the, you know, the original thought here. And so I know that if I give them something new, they can just come with it versus you got to wait to see what they do type thing, if that makes sense. I don't know. But that's that's just my thought process. But then we all are inspired by someone to a certain extent. So that's a whole nother topic for another day um, because, you know, there is a difference in between being inspired and actually just straight up copying. And, you know, that's a whole source of subject for the community. And I really don't want to get too deep into it, but we all, no matter what, I've seen big time people take cards out of my playbook and, you know, vice versa. I mean, we just, you, you we're just that's what we are we just we see things we like it we we want to do it and then you put your own spin on it and then it's it's no longer their their thing it's your thing because you've taken part of it and went from it now that don't mean you can go take somebody else's sculpt and lay your clay on top of it and then call it yours but anyway that's another subject for another day too but we are going to go because it's been a long video and the mama has got some ideas to put this paintwork on this baby face. I've been dreaming all morning about painting this baby face, adding some stuff to this baby face that I'm working on. And I got to go put it to work because if I don't, I'm going to lose it. So we will see you later. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Baby Aspen by Claire Teller. The kits are going to be probably going on pre-order pretty soon. And you guys can get your own Aspen if you like my baby. Uh, my version of it. And we will see other versions of this sculpt. Um, which will be pretty cool. Because it's always nice to see what they look like in different skin tones. Oh my god, this is like... Somebody take a picture of this. This is like the perfect picture. Y'all better take a picture of it. All right. Thank you. Send it to me in my inbox because I know y'all did it. Somebody did it, y'all, because y'all, my Lola's is the ball. Can, can we just take one minute, though, even though this video don't went over 18 minutes? Can we just take one minute to say I have the best Lola's in the world? Like, my my people, y'all, y'all the bomb. I'm telling y'all, like, when I get rich, I'm going to hook all y'all up. Yes, I'm going to hook all y'all up. Child, I hope I ain't ashy. Because I did not mean for my little skin to be showing.